It's me, Kristen, here for another What's Up Wednesday, just little tips that we like to drop to you from our education team here at Trefera. So today I'm going to talk to you real quickly about Google Classroom and specifically how you can create a YouTube embedded question and drop that straight into you, your Google Classroom for your students. So I'm going to get right into it. So um, what I've done is I've put together a lesson that I already have just to kind of show you the start to finish of the entire um, process of getting it done. So I have a trails lesson. If you don't know what trails is, it's something available to our customers. It's an online library of just hundreds of lessons that are ready to go. This is an example of one and you can see that we really go um, as far as to provide all the links and resources. So if you haven't tried that out and you're one of our customers, go do that. So um, this particular lesson is one that I created on irony and if you've ever taught anything with um, in ELA with videos, it really is a powerful way to be able to get your kids to see exactly um, all of these pieces and elements of figurative language that can be embedded into not just literature, but videos. So that's exactly what I did. This lesson is specifically identifying verbal situation dramatic irony. So after the lesson of me showing them what it is, I want them to go do something on their own to be able to identify and explain some things with that. Um, I do want to point out that this is a feature that's in our teaching and learning upgrade in Google Classroom, but it's something that if you haven't used, you might not even realize it's there. So I want to walk you through that. Okay, so here are my steps. I'm gonna make sure that I go to my Google Classroom. I have a video already identified, and this doesn't have to be done, but I did create the questions in a doc because it's part of our resources and trails. I would normally just type those questions directly into my, um, into my YouTube area. So I'm gonna show you that now. All right, so here we go. I am going to close some unnecessary tabs. I'm gonna go straight into Google Classroom. This is what Google Classroom will look like when you get into your course. So I'm going to jump over to Classwork, Create Assignment. I am going to do irony in videos, just for lack of better words. And I'm going to hit the YouTube area right here. So I'm in Assignment, YouTube. Okay, I already have, I think I already have it grabbed, but I'm going to go grab that again. So Share, Copy, go back over to my assignment and I'm putting it directly into that, Google, that uh, Google Classroom assignment. All right, so you can see right here, I need you to move, friend. Okay, over there. I have the Add Questions feature. So I'm going to hit Add Questions, and I am brought there. Now this looks a lot like um, Edpuzzle, if you're familiar with, um, but it's very simplified, it's easy to use, um, and you can see that it's got the video right here. I can just go add my questions. I already know I'm going to do multiple choice, but because I already have these have questions identified, I am going to go back to my irony page. I just have them written and I'm going to go grab that question. Again, this is something that I would normally just type directly in the text, but I already have it. I don't even know if I'm grabbing it. I already have it done. So I'm going to go back in here. I know that I want it to be at one minute. So I'm going to just scroll on over to as close as I can get, is pause it, and add a question. All right, so it's a multiple choice question. I know that my question is, what type of irony was Hades using when he smiles and says, little dark, little gloomy, full of people? Hey, but what are you going to do? So I know that my choices for my students are going to be verbal, situational, and dramatic, and or dramatic. And then, of course, there's times whenever it could be none of those. I already have my key, so I'm going to make sure that I set, select the correct answer. And then I just keep on rolling. So it's there, and I'm going to hit Save and Continue. Some of that Disney magic. All right, to show you one more, I know that at 440, I want to open-ended question. I'm just going to go ahead and grab it. And go back to my Google Classroom, go over to 440. Okay, I am there and I'm going to hit add open ended and you know open ended is where the students would go in and actually type their own response. Okay, I'm going to hit save and continue. The question is how is the tension and emotional connection created with the use of dramatic irony? So you can see that you can make this as um, intricate of a question or base level question as you would like. 
I'm going to hit save and continue. And I do have more questions made, but just to show you what this process looks like, I'm going to go ahead and hit attach. And what it did right there is I have Irony and Video, it attached the YouTube question, but because I did it through Google Classroom, it attached it with those questions. All right, so I'm gonna hit assign. And I won't be able to see it because I don't have students in it, but once students start to answer the question, I can go in and see their responses. I already have one created there, but you can see their responses directly in Google Classroom. So it's just a great way to be able to um, use this, this cool feature that is embedded within Google Classroom for teachers without having to jump around in platforms. All right, so again, that was Google Classroom, YouTube Embedded Questions, and I really hope that this is something you can use like now. Everybody have a good day. Happy Wednesday.